How the Other Half Breathes by J.J. Buchner. Scene one, a Zoom call. Why are you so late? I'm not late. They aren't signing on until 5.30. It's only 5.25. I just want her to know that I'm punctual. Are you nervous? Of course I'm nervous. That you never thought you'd be dating jailbait, huh? You are not jailbait. You didn't even spend the night in jail. I bailed you out. You didn't have to do that. We were saving that money for our summer vacation. I wasn't going to leave you there. Besides, your Aunt Lorraine was threatening to put up her house as collateral. She told me. She's been so far at my ass since June. She just worries about you. Is she still calling every day? Twice a day. She wants me to come stay, stay with me and help me clean out the house. <laughs> Maybe that wouldn't be a bad idea. There is no way that is happening. I miss you. I miss you too. My assignment at the hospital is almost over, then I can come home. All I have to do is quarantine for two weeks, then we'll be together. How are things at the hospital? The numbers are still going up, but they are still saying I'll be done in two weeks. I decided not to fly, but just rent a car and drive back just to be safe. Are they giving you a test before you leave? I requested that so I can have my results as soon as I get back. Mr. Grayson? Oh, uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit late. I've had back-to-back -back meetings today. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, and you are? This is my uh, partner, Jeff. It's nice to meet you. The pleasure is mine. Mr. Grayson, I think we should get started. You can call me Tom. Okay, Tom. I've reviewed your case. The DA, as you know, is charging you with assault in the third degree, which comes with up to a year in county jail or a thousand dollar fine. But he has a clean record. Yes, he does. What about this acquittal contemplation of a dismissal I read about? That's not something Tom is eligible for. The best I can hope to plead this down to is a simple violation of disorderly conduct. It still holds a fine, but it's better than jail time. All you would need to do is not get into any trouble for six months, and then it's off your record. Is it going to be easy considering what happened to her? She had a simple concussion, and she had no permanent damage. What about her GoFundMe? What is he talking about? After her Facebook Live went viral, the group Healthy America set up a GoFundMe for medical bills. She made a public statement saying she doesn't need them since her health insurance will cover it, but she'll take the funds and distribute them between veterans charities and a couple Christian churches in the area. Well, that's fine. What she does publicly right now shouldn't matter to you. She was also charged with violating the COVID regulations of New York State. She's not innocent in this either. But she doesn't have people signing a petition to get that violation thrown out. A petition? Yet there's an anti-masker that started a petition to get her violation thrown out. It's been endorsed by Elise Stefanik. <laughs> that crazy, and I use the word lightly, politician called her a patriot. You can't worry about that. We just have to stay focused on Tom. Has any group come forward supporting you? We would know. I deleted all my social media. I lost my job. I had to move out of my apartment, and I moved into my mom's house. My job had mercy on me and laid me off after I told them how everything happened. They saw that her video went viral and they had to officially let me go. They were getting threats on social media and had to make a statement. Is this going to hurt his case? I'm not quite sure. Between the pandemic and social media videos going viral, it's a new world. There are a lot of nuances when it comes to introducing social media videos into court cases. Don't they do it all the time on Law & Order? Jeff, please don't bring that up again. Well, why not? I've seen multiple episodes where they get cases thrown out because of a Facebook post. It's a little more complicated than Law & Order. They do get a lot of things right, but it's still a TV show. Tom, can you tell me what happened that day? Uh, it was regular day. I needed some groceries, so I went to Market 32. I was about to head up to the checkout when I saw her standing at her cart complaining to a worker about having a medical condition that excludes her from wearing a mask. I saw that she was recording herself, so I, I went live on Facebook to record her being absolutely ridiculous. I understood that, I understood that she was frustrated, but things, the things she was saying like kind of took a dark turn. I, I spoke up and we got into a verbal altercation. I didn't expect it to go as far as it did, but 
then she said something that triggered me and I saw red and the next thing you know, she was on the floor. What did she say that triggered you? Is it that, is that important? Doesn't take away from the fact that I punched a woman. Just tell her. It's not going to make a difference. Tom, I know this is hard, but tell me and then let me decide if it's important or not. She said something about my mother. Did she know your mother? No, but I lost my mother a couple months back and it just triggered me. I'm sorry for your loss. I'll take that into consideration when we present our case. Can you enter a plea of insanity since it was traumatic for him? Jeff, please stop. What? Don't even think about bringing up law and order. Can we just focus on the case? I'm sorry. Now, I assume that you know that the person you hit has requested to meet with you one-on-one -on -one for a Zoom conversation. I do, but I don't know if that, that would be a good idea. It's completely up to you, but I would advise you that it might not hurt to lash things out. Uh, there have been a lot of instances where two people have met before a trial. Let's be honest. You were triggered when she mentioned your mother and she didn't know why. And even though she was also in the wrong by violating a mask mandate, you don't know what her story is either. Personally, I don't know what my reaction would have been if I was in your shoes, but sometimes learning where the other person is coming from could help you understand them better. I'll think about it. You have to remember, she's not the one pressing charges. The DA is the one you have to worry about. I know she doesn't want a citation on her record, and this meeting might help that. As your public defender, I will back whatever decision you make. Let's plan to meet again in a couple of days to discuss things further. I can do that. Great. It was nice meeting you both. Please consider speaking with her. Is she gone? Yes. Can you believe she said you should talk to that bitch? After what she said about your mother, she should be on trial. She, she didn't know. That doesn't matter. It's like the real housewives. Parents and children are off limits. You have to stop comparing this to a TV show. This is the actual real world. I'm sorry. I feel so helpless in this. I'm not there and I don't know what I can do for you. Just being here is enough. You have to hope for the best. You might be able to get it played down and I'll... And I just have to be good for six months. I don't have anywhere to go in the next six months, so I'll just lay low. What if her crazy supporters figure out where, you are, where you're living? Do you want another anti-Tom rally? I mean, in front of your house? They only did that once because my work didn't come out and make a statement against me. That's over. Just think positive, okay? I'll try. Listen, I'm going to eat some dinner, try to rest, and digest everything from that call. I'll call you later, okay? Okay. I love you. I love you too. Scene two, one week later. Good afternoon, Jeff. How are you doing? I'm good. I've been a little tired uh, thinking about everything going on. All I can say is just rest when you need to. You're gonna need your energy for this case. That doesn't sound reassuring. I finally got a chance to watch both of your videos. But my social media is deactivated. The video is gone. Someone did a screen capture of your video and it got posted to YouTube. What does that mean for me? Well, I, I read the comments on the video and actually people are on your side. The video is labeled as graphic, but people are generally saying good things. I know it's supposed to make me feel better, but I'm not proud of what I did. I mean, that's someone's mother. I understand that. There is something you should know. I wasn't going to tell you, but I feel like you should know. I assume you aren't looking at any online videos, correct? I only stream movies. I have no interest in anything social media related right now. Why? Well, there was this guy in Colorado that posted a video on Facebook. He was in a grocery store and a woman was not wearing a mask. They had an altercation and he punched her. He turned the camera around and said, this is for you, Tom. We're rooting for you. I don't know how to respond to that. I mean, that is not what I wanted. Can I ask you a favor? Could you right now, while I'm on this Zoom call with you, just reactivate your Facebook for five minutes? I don't want to. I know this is hard for you, but I, I want you to know what people are saying. If it's too much for me, I'm deactivating it quick. 
that's fine. Just please do it. Okay. Oh my God. What's wrong? I have 800 friend requests and 500 messages. Should I look at them? It's up to you. Half of them are death threats and the other half are messages saying they hope they get a chance to punch a COVID Karen too. I can't, I'm sorry, I, 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 I have to deactivate this. I'm sorry. Why did you make me do that? To prove a point. I can't pressure you into meeting with her, but like her, you have a lot of people rooting for you. People who think what you did was right. You know it's not, but you need to fix this. How? Meet with her. I don't know what will come of it, but you need to. I thought you were just supposed to advise me. I am, but I watched your video a lot and I think you need to try and work this out with her. Am I allowed to ask you questions? You can. Did you always want to be a public defender? I meant about your case. I can't ask about you? You can, but it doesn't mean I have to answer. So we can't speak as friends? I don't want to sound rude, but you have to understand I'm not your friend. I'm your public defender. Which means I have to put my trust in you to defend me in a court of law. That's right. It's my job to defend you as best I can. But not as a friend. Exactly. I don't know if I can do this then. What do you mean? You are expecting me to put my full trust in you when I know nothing about you at all. That's how this works. I'm sorry to be blunt, but that's pretty shitty. I can't even ask one thing about you. You have two minutes. Thank you. Did you always want to be a public defender? No, I didn't. I used to defend murderers and corporations that did some pretty horrible things. I saw what I was doing and I gave it all up to fight a good fight. The money was great, but my soul was hurting. But don't you defend people like that now? I do, but most of my cases are people who made a mistake and are ready to pay for it. The defendants in the other case thought they did nothing wrong. Is that a good enough answer? It is. Okay. So I think we're done. Just consider talking to her. I will. Scene three, a Zoom call for clarity. Hey, hey. Hey, Junebug, how are you feeling? Ah, uh, better. I'm still a little tired, but good. How are you doing? <laughs> Pretty good, I met with my public defender. And? It went fine. Looks like I can avoid jail time. <sighs> That's good. You'd never survive jail. How would you know? The closest you've ever gotten to jail was playing an extra in Orange is the New Black. Uh, hey, I know a little bit about jail. I've had to bail friends out and they're, they were a lot butcher than you. <laughs> anyway, how's Shannon doing? She's good. She'll be home soon. Her shift is almost over. So, um, the woman I hit wants to meet with me. Are you serious? Are you going to do it? I don't know. My public defender said it couldn't hurt, but I'm not sure. Would it hurt your case? She doesn't seem to think so. I'm still on the fence, but she made me activate my Facebook and I got so many messages supporting me. It was nice until she told me about the copycat video. I saw that. You saw it? A week ago. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't know how it would affect you. Well, it really did affect me. I was speechless. I have something else to tell you. Do you really want it? Do I really, really, really want to hear this? I watched it. My video? Yeah. Why? I didn't want you to see me like that. There is going to have to be a time when you stop thinking of me as a little girl. You don't have to shelter me. I live in New York City. I've seen shit that would blow your mind. I don't want to ask this, but uh, what'd you think? I have no words. I've never seen you like that. I know you got into fights, but that's not the brother I know. It wasn't me. I saw red when she mentioned mom. I know. 
I, I, I don't know what I would have done or said if that happened to me, but I will tell you that I wouldn't have thrown the first punch. Don't you know anything? I know that. This was different. I'm just saying, fight smart. <laughs> I'm never fighting again. You didn't actually fight. You just punched a woman. You know, the fact that you hit a woman kind of punched me in the stomach. I know. After it happened, I just kept thinking that I'd turn into dad. You were nothing like dad. In that moment, I was, like it or not, I was. Don't beat yourself up over that. You were triggered. <laughs> We've all gone through hell this year. I mean, we buried mom. I miss her. I know. And I feel like I haven't had as much closure as I wanted. But everyone keeps telling me it's going to take time. 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 I think you should talk to her. Are you sure? Yeah, it, it may provide some closure. I guess. It'll be good for your soul. We'll see. Now let's have a virtual drink. Just let me grab some wine. Scene four, the Zoom call. Hello? Hi. Uh, so? I know, this is a little awkward. It is, but you requested this. I did, I, I just wanted to, I don't know what I wanted. Uh, neither do I. Uh, uh, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm recovering. I'm not black and blue anymore. That's good. Uh, so I, uh, yeah. So you you uh, called this meeting. I did. I just wanted to check in. On what? On you. I saw how people were going after you online. I deactivated my social media accounts after I had to move. My address was leaked and your supporters started protesting my apartment. I know. I released a statement asking them to stop. Thank you. Uh, is there anything else you want to talk to me about? I mostly just wanted to check on you and... and and to figure out why you did what you did. You said something that triggered me. I'm not really a person who hits people, but you just brought up the one thing I couldn't handle. Well, I'm sorry, but the last thing you needed to do was hit me. Uh, we could have had a discussion. What did your mother say after she heard you hit a woman? I lost my mother to COVID a few months back. I'm sorry. She was an essential worker. A nurse? No, she had a part-time job at Target so she could get out of the house and make some extra cash. Uh, one day a person came into her line with her mask below their chin and she asked them to put it on. Well, the person lost it and started yelling at my mother and when she was asked to leave, they coughed at my mother and a couple other employees. I, I don't know if that was what it did it, but one of the other employees tested positive as well. Listen, I, I get it. I, I, I didn't believe masks would work either. I went out as much as I could. I didn't care. My partner's a nurse and I didn't listen. But I, I look at it like this. My mom was replaceable at work, but she can't be replaced in my family. I wish I knew that. Yeah, I just wish I walked away from you that day. Either way, wouldn't have made a difference. I tested positive last week. I thought you should know that. Guess it's a little bit of karma for me. After what I saw my mom went through, I wouldn't wish this on anyone. Look, if I could, I would make them drop the charges against you, but I, I can't. You understand I can't, right? I do. Maybe I need to go through this and show people that sometimes it's best to walk away. Maybe I got COVID to show people that it's real. Maybe. I have to get going. 
you know, I, I can't believe <laughs> I'm about to say this, but um, if you ever want to chat on Zoom again, I, I, I would be willing. I might do that. I'm alone for at least two weeks. Well, uh, just let me know. I, I will. Goodbye. Bye. Scene five. The incident. Hello. Hey, I wanted everyone out there in Facebook land to know I'm standing here in Market 32 in Schenectady and they are refusing to let me shop because I'm not wearing a mask. Now we are in a free country and I'm not wearing a mask because I have medical issues that I, I can't wear a mask. No, I refuse. I refuse to mask on. I'm in a free country. I'm healthy. They can't allow me to not wear a mask. I have civil liberty rights. All lives matter. My life matters. What they, what they want me to do. They want me to drop dead wearing some goddamn mask. I want the manager. Okay. Oh my God, guys. I have to go live because I finally have encountered my first COVID Karen who refuses to put on a mask. Disgusting. Americans need to speak up. What, what do you think? What do you think about it? Well, who's protection? If you're sick and you feel comfortable wearing a mask, then you should wear one. <laughs> now a shopper is talking to her. This is unbelievable. Well, that's okay then. Well, then watch out. Be, care be careful of your freedom. It's being taken away from you because they're having their Black Lives Matter uh, uh, protest, and all lives matter. All of our lives matter, not just black lives, and I'm not wearing a mask, but I'm healthy. I, I have very healthy, I get, it's like, it's like the common cold. Did this bitch really just say all lives matter? What century are we living in? This is the mentality of people, but I am standing here, I'm waiting for the manager, I don't care because this is a real fight. They are, they are taking away our amendment rights. They are taking away our freedoms. Well, I had to wait in line to come in the store and then they want me to put a mask on like this. I, you know the only reason she's pissed is because they made her wait in line. Can you imagine what it must be like to live with her? <laughs> I'm healthy. I want the manager. I want the store manager. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, I really am upset. Uh, I know, honey. I know it's not your fault. You're just doing your job. This young gentleman has to do his job. But I feel as though that if I'm healthy, I do not need to wear a mask. Now, that's how I feel. You could disagree with me, but people died in nursing homes in my family because, but you couldn't see them. You couldn't see no funerals but they had a funeral for the black guy. That's okay. I guess his life mattered. But my aunt's life mattered too. And all the people who, who lost parents, their lives mattered too, but, but they weren't able to that opportunity. Come on, lady, just put your stupid mask on and get your groceries. You sound like an idiot. I'm wearing a mask because I'm not wearing a mask. I'm not wearing one because I have health issues that will make me pass out, all right? I have civil liberties. Then maybe you shouldn't be doing your own shopping. There's apps where people can, can't go into a market because they have health issues. But I'm healthy right now. I just can't breathe with a mask on. You can't, well, you can't breathe? Well, lady, maybe you have someone else shop for you. I can shop for myself. You know, I'm not the only one who thinks this way. Oh, believe me, honey, I know that. There are thousands of videos of people like you flipping out about not wearing a mask. So I hope you enjoy becoming one of those people because you're live on Facebook. I don't care. I'm live on Facebook, too, because they can't do this in a public place. Lady, this is not a public place. It sure is. This is not a park or the street. This is private property, a whack job. Don't you talk to me like that. I can report you for harassment. And I can put you on blast on Facebook for your racist remarks of All Lives Matter. 
That's not racist, it's true. It is true, but right now, Black Lives Matter more. You're over there bitching about losing an aunt and complaining that her life mattered more than George Floyd. Well, guess what, lady? Your aunt could walk down the street without fear of getting shot because of the color of her skin. Oh, don't give me that crap, that liberal crap. You're white, what the hell do you know about it? It doesn't matter if I'm white. Anyone who sees someone being ignorant needs to speak up. If people don't speak up and stand up for people, then we are no better than the cops who killed him. He was breaking the law. Okay, okay, listen, I can't stand here and debate right or wrong with you because you obviously are a racist fucking bitch. How dare you? How dare you speak to me like that? You're the one causing all the trouble here. You're putting everyone in danger with your refusal to wear a mask. You're spouting racist comments, and ironically, you're wearing a cross around your neck, which means you're probably one of those right-wing, Trump-loving Christians who don't agree with abortion, but are the first group of people to say, it's my body, it's my choice, they can't tell me what to do. This is the most disgusting display of liberalism that I have ever seen. Okay, okay so explain, explain to me this. If all lives matter, then why won't you wear a mask to protect all the lives in this market? Of course. Of course, you're silent. Hey, don't get near me, lady. Keep your distance. I'm going to tell you this, young man. I have a son about your age, and I have to tell you that I bet your mother must be so embarrassed by that mask on your face. It's a disgrace. End of show. <laughs> <laughs>